Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something kind of unique to share with you. So a couple weeks ago, there was uh, an auction that we were invited to that contained a number of pieces that were owned by car customizer Jay Orberg. Some of you guys may know that name, some of you may not. So just to give you a brief recap, Jake uh, Orberg is a a famed car customizer. He designed all kinds of amazing, amazing cars to include the Knight Rider 2000 Red Knight 4000 car. He's the one that built that for the movies. He was also around um, during the days when they were building the Super Pursuit Mode car. He made a cameo in Knight Rider during its last season, all this stuff. So, um, there was an auction of one of his storage lockers a couple weeks ago, and um, like I said, we were invited to it, and we managed to snag a few pieces. So I thought, well, let's let's show you what they are. They just arrived, and um, we'll kind of go through and show you the Knight Rider related and not Knight Rider related pieces that we got from this Jay Orberg auction. So stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, I need to relay a message to you. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you need to stop what you're doing and hit the subscribe button down below, please. We are closing in fast on 100,000 subscribers, which is just unbelievable to me, but I need your help. 50% of you watching right now are not subscribed, and there's really no excuse for that, right? So. Do me a favor, do the Knight Rider community a favor, do your country a favor, hit the subscribe button right now. All right, so you've stuck around, so that's great. So let's go over some of the things that we got. The auction was held over the course of, I think, four days, and we pretty much snagged everything that was Knight Rider related from the auction. There was a ton of stuff, I'd say 95 Five, 98% of it was not related to Knight Rider. It was related to his other movies and TV shows and, and not even movies and TV shows, but also his, um, his history as a car customizer. But, um, like I said, we grabbed pretty much all the Knight Rider stuff. Um, there's nothing, you know, too amazing, but still it's something you guys are going to want to see. So let's start first with maybe some of the non Knight Rider stuff. Um, AJ and I kind of tag team this. We were both on the auction. Um, it was a virtual auction. We were both on it at the same time. So he grabbed some stuff. I grabbed a couple things. And um, so this is one of the things AJ grabbed. I'm not sure why, but we got this series of, actually, I know exactly why, because it's a vintage California blue license plate, right? So we got these license plates that were probably Jay's personal plates. I don't really know. This one's really cool. Anytime you get an old vintage California blue license plate. That's really cool. Then there's a um, handicap plate right there. Um, we also got this model. Now, some of you guys may recognize this car. It is a customized piece from the movie, The Car. Um, I think it, it uh, came out in 1977. But what's really neat about this, and it kind of ties to Knight Rider, is the fact that um, in the season one episode, Trust Does a Rust, when you see Carr going over the cliff to his doom, it's actually footage from the movie The Car. And the car you're actually seeing is this car going over the cliff, which is really neat. This is not, uh, you know, like a one-off prototype. This was a mass-produced piece, but um, we got it because of its connection to Knight Rider and, well, the price was right. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's go to, um, we'll do these. We've got some files here, which are really neat. We'll save these for last. There's some interesting things you're probably gonna like in here, but we got an original sealed Knight Rider 2000 model kit. Um, you know, again, something that was off the shelf, but it was 
um, worth getting and to be able to say, hey, you know, the guy that designed this car, this was his personal model. That's pretty cool. All right, so then we get to a couple really interesting things. We got some Knight Rider molds from Jay Orberg. So this is the season three and four lower console mold. This is a piece that he used to cast um, the season three and four lower console. So um, it even actually says, it, it's written in pencil here. I don't know if you can see it. It says, make J two copies, which is kind of neat. That's uh, in pretty decent shape. I mean, there's a few, you know, chips in the uh, gel coat on the inside, but otherwise it's in great shape. Nice heavy duty piece. So, you know, we're not in the uh, fiberglass business or anything, but uh, it is neat to have one of Jay's original molds. But of course we don't have just one of Jay's original molds. We've got one of his original overhead console molds. This is a season two, three, and four overhead. And as a bonus, it actually came with a cast overhead in it, which is really, really neat. This mold is in excellent, excellent shape. And again, really neat to be able to say, you know, this was Jay Orberg who worked on the show, who worked on the movie, the Knight Rider 2000 movie. This is one of his original molds. So it's in, yeah, it's in really nice shape. There's no cracks or breaks or anything in this fiberglass. I mean, you could cast some really nice parts out of that if you wanted to. All right, so next up, these are actually, these aren't molds, these are cast parts. Um, season three and four pod unit. Now this isn't 100% accurate to the show, but um, we've seen in some of Jay's replicas that he's built, these are the pods he puts in it. In fact, he built a, um, a Super Pursuit Mode replica, I don't know, 15 years ago. And these are the pods he used in it, which is pretty neat. But the auction didn't include just one of these. It actually included two. And this other one has some cool little buttons. I mean, fake buttons. And obviously not series accurate. But, you know, what are we going to do with this? I don't know. Hang it on the wall, maybe. That'd be a neat piece to just hang on the wall in my garage, maybe. But, uh... Why not? Why not? So I mentioned that Jay was in, uh, he had a cameo in Knight Rider. So if you watch the season four episode, Night of a Thousand Devils, there's a scene where um, RC3 is on his motorbike looking for Kit and Michael. And he stops and talks to this guy who's talking to some girls. That's Jay Orberg. And you can see him a couple other times in that episode. All right. So we've got this folder that says the car on it which is obviously related to that model. These, these uh, came together, so let's see what we got. So yeah, there, there's a promo shot of this model. That's the original car, promo shot of the original car. And then there's, looks like black and white copies of the construction of this car, which is, yeah, see this is them building it back in the day, which is really, really neat. Again, you know, we're not car historians, but still need to be able to tie this back to the show. So we got a folder of those. And then next we've got, let's see what's in here. I haven't even really gone through this in detail. I just kind of skimmed through it. So in here, we've got a bunch of pictures of Jay. There's Jay with George Barris. And Jay and Charlie Smith. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, this is why AJ got this lot. This is why he got that lot. There's Jay Orberg with Knight Rider unit production manager Ron Martinez. We're gonna have to scan these. This is really cool. Yeah, there's another one. Now this is, this is an awesome photo. So that's Jay Orberg, and this is Ron Martinez again. And this guy in the middle is Johnny Rutherford. How is Johnny Rutherford tied to Knight Rider? 
Well, for those of you who have seen the video on our channel, the competition is no competition. There was a commercial in August of 1982 before the show aired, and it was um, Johnny Rutherford comparing the General Lee to Kit. Really, really cool. So there they all are, Jay Orberg, Johnny Rutherford, Ron Martinez all together, which is just really, really cool. Um, and then, you know, Jay with some other folks here. Just some, some neat photos. We'll get all these uh, scanned in. Maybe we'll share a couple of them with you on our, um, on our Patreon channel if you guys are interested in joining our Patreon. We do share exclusive things on there, so check it out. There's a link down below, link in the corner of the video. Um, and then we also got all of these. These are vintage 1971 original concept drawings. Now, I don't think, I again, I haven't looked through these in detail, but original concept drawings for a Lincoln Continental that Jay must have been customizing way, way back when. I mean, look at these. And these are, like I said, these are the originals. These are not photocopies. These are the original ones that are drawn on. You can see in the back, you can see the how the writing has bled through. It almost looks like the car, but I don't think it is. It's, I think it's too early for the car. Aren't those neat? There's a whole bunch of those. Again, we'll scan these, even though they're not necessarily related to Knight Rider. We'll scan them, throw them up on our Patreon page if you guys are interested in seeing them. And then, yeah, this was, I always thought this one was neat. This is the dashboard of that Lincoln. And again, look at that. You can see the marker through it. This is original, original stuff here, not copies. Really, really cool. There's that one. And then that's just a cutaway of, a, of the roof, the Landau roof. All right, so then, We've got this. Now, you might be wondering, what does a Super Friends Batmobile from 1984 have to do with Knight Rider? There's actually a very interesting story about this particular toy. So, let me see if I remember how to do this. So, one of these buttons. Yes, do you see that? See how that front end comes out? This toy was supposedly um, one of the inspirations for the Super Pursuit Mode car. You know how on the Super Pursuit Mode kit, the front end goes out and then up? This is where they got that inspiration from, this Super Friends Batmobile. Now, um, interesting story about this. So Jay Orberg told us that years and years and years ago that this particular Batmobile was the inspiration for that part of the transformation of Kit. Um, so we went on eBay and we found one and we bought it and we sent it to him just as a, a thank you gift. So fast forward to this auction and the exact model that we gifted him was in this auction. So we let the auctioneer, we, we told the auctioneer like, hey, we know where that came from. We gave it to Jay years ago. And they said, well, you can have it back. And they didn't charge us for it, which was just really, really cool. So um, yeah, really neat model. Part of the inspiration for the Super Pursuit Mode kit, the Super Friends Batmobile. Looks like it does some other stuff too. There you go. All right, so next up we've got some additional, what's in here? Uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, not necessarily related to Kit, although Chitty did drive itself, if you ever see the movie. Um, just some random pages of all of Jay Orberg's stuff that he did. It looks like these were pulled out of a book or something, a French book. You can see the pages are torn, but I um, wonder if there's a Knight Rider one in here. I don't see one. There's the Back to the Future Ford Probe, which I'm guessing Jay built. And another Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. 
There you go. And a neat World of Wheels ad. So that was in that envelope. And then there's yet another envelope. What do we have in here? So some more build pictures. There's a uh, Back to the Future Ford Probe photo. And then there's uh, Jay Orberg with uh, Burt Ward from the original Batman series. And then the construction of, there's the Back to the Future, one of the Back to the Future police cars, building something there. Not sure what that is. Just some really cool pieces of Hollywood history. There's Jay with the Grinch. There's Adam West and Burt Ward with the Batmobile, which is really, really cool. Wonder when that's from, doesn't say. And then a neat picture of a dash from a replica that Jay owned at one point. Cool stuff. So then, as if that wasn't enough, we also got a box full of notebooks. Lots of notebooks here. And I have not gone through these notebooks yet, but there was something, I wonder, wonder if I can find it here pretty quick. There was something really cool in this book. It was the Hiss, here it is. It's Jay's notes on how the Super Pursuit Mode car came to be. I'm gonna read them to you because I think you're gonna find them interesting. I was George Barris's partner during the third year of Knight Rider. Universal Studios sent Ron Martinez, a producer on Knight Rider, to talk to George and myself about doing something to Kit to get the network to go for a fourth season. I found a toy car that when you push a button, the nose would pop out. I showed the toy to Ron Martinez and George Barris. Ron and I sat down and came up with all the things that opened on the pursuit car. Next, we brought in a new artist named Robert Webb to do the drawings. After the drawings were finished, Universal okayed to build the two pursuit cars and two convertibles to be used for the fourth season. Next, I, can, I con convinced a friend that I had... Um, that I had... Uh, I'm not sure what that says. That I had brought to the USA from... Austria. Oh, I convinced a friend that I had brought to the USA from Austria earlier. His name was Dennis Braid. Dennis built the pursuit car and the car that had everything that opened. The second car, the second super pursuit mode car, had no engine because of the hydraulic rams for the nose to go out had to fit where the engine was. Universal took the no engine pursuit car and towed it backwards while filming the front of the car with the nose and parts opening and closing. Then they reversed the film for the show, Studio Magic. After the pursuit car was built, Ron Martinez told me that the 14 cars they used every day kept bumping the fiberglass nose and breaking them. I came up with the idea to make the nose out of rubber and reinforce them with corrugated aluminum. The nose worked perfectly. And we have one of those noses on one of our original cars. I became very good friends with the producers on Knight Rider and end up being in four shows. I owned a yellow Pennzoil Indy 500 race car, which I drove and did all the tow shots being Hasselhoff's double since he is six foot, six inches tall and couldn't get into my Indy car. Um, and I got my SAG car during this episode, during this episode for stunt driving. This was of course, season four Night Racer. Another show I had my four racing dune buggies in and I was in that show, Night of a Thousand Devils. Another show, I had a Bonneville Salt Flat Streamline car in a show. Uh, Night Sting, the um, Lynx Imperial. Oh, I almost forgot that. One thing I forgot to tell you, my wife, Karen Broverman, was the custom designer all for all four years of Night Rider. Costume designer, excuse me. Um, later, she became the costume designer for Baywatch with Hasselhoff. 
So I was very involved with Night Rider show with my wife and with my cars. I owned a company called Hollywood Cars and I've had a black Night Rider car um, and I'm currently building a new pursuit car that will be used in my new car museum opening in 2008. The pursuit cars were smashed after the show ended, which we of course know about. Um, that's it. Isn't that really cool to have his, and it's in his handwritten notes, which is just so neat. And like I said, these books, I mean, they're filled with notes. I have not even begun to look in any of these to see you know, what kind of um, treasures are in here. This one looks mostly empty. There's a little bit on the front. Back to the Future. Now there's information about Back to the Future in here. Um, another booklet here. Another booklet. And another booklet. So we're going to go through these. And if there's any, you know, good Knight Rider behind the scenes stuff, we'll certainly be sharing those. So there you go. All right. We got that, and then, finally, there's a folder that says Knight Rider's Kit. Now, there's nothing, you know, terribly exciting in here, but there are a couple photos that might be of interest, so let's take a look at those. So, this picture is a replica, I think this is one that Jay built back in the 90s, or at least Jay owned back in the 90s, um, and then that's obviously just a promo shot from 1982 from the show and then there's a couple other photos here we've got this one of one of jay's replicas it's dated july 1st 1991 so this was an early early kit replica and then we've got this cool photo an original this is original from 1985 jay on the set of night sting with patricia mcpherson posing isn't that cool it even says on the back look at that july 1st 1985 very, very cool. So that's what we have from the Jay Orberg auction. Pretty neat, huh? Just more to add to the uh, Knight Rider Historian's collection, I suppose. So that's all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this now that um, I've, yeah, I've had it laid out here for a couple days to show you guys. Now we can go ahead and, you know, get things like this hung up on our wall, get some of these photos scanned, kind of get it uh, inventoried and put away. As always, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, do so now. You won't regret it. Talk to you later. Thanks again.